What is going on everybody? My name's Jerl here and what I have here is a MacBook Pro that I got for about $19. And as you can see, the transport from all the way to Cali to the East Coast did not held up so well. Um, <laughs> I think this is just tapered. So here is the listing. I got this for around $18.99 and it looks like it has a question mark, which means the hard drive probably went bad because as you can see, we got some nasty scratches and dents here. So I'm presuming the hard drive probably went bad from a drop or something like that. You can see it comes with a box. I believe this MacBook is matching the box has all the accessories right here. But now that USPS already has opened this thing for us, we don't even need this knife. It always fascinates me how people packages these things, especially if you know, you're shipping it to across the country. I just feel like you should package it a lot better than this. Here is the MacBook. It's pretty hefty actually. Really the only reason why I got this is for the box. I love doing this close to unboxing experience at 2.3 gigahertz i5. Huh. Here we go. Oh wow, look at that. Mm. Oh, it's not too shabby. Well, you got uh, quite a bit of a dent here. Let's see if we can open it. Oh wow, yikes. That's not good. That's not good. Let me check the listing first and see if there's actually a crack. There is no cracks at all on this one. That's not good. That means that transportation broke this thing. It feels pretty loose as well. Looks like something has moved here. Well, that's very unfortunate. I'm sure it will still start up because these are tough as nails. Let's see here, we got the charger. This is what I'm looking forward to. Everything Mac and everything else. Pretty much shows everything. It shows here where you can upgrade the RAM and the hard drive. We can check this one out though. Yeah, look at this, it feels brand new. These papers do not look like they've been touched at all. 10.6.6. .6. This is my first time plugging it in. See if it starts up. No power at all. There you go. Now we have power. Sounds like there's a CD. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start it from a bootable drive. I guess the display was already dented to begin with right here, but it would have saved me a lot of time from fixing this thing. Looks like the hinge has completely collapsed. All right, one thing's for sure. It looks like everything is working perfectly fine. The keyboard seems like it's working fine. We can finally check out the specs here. Oh wow, it's got eight gigs of RAM. Let's check out the battery. 60. Wow. Someone really took care of this. Yep. <laughs> Check this out. This is what it came out. Do not make illegal copies of this game. Noted. These older MacBooks are pretty easy to take off. I have my magnet here. These all use Phillips uh, screws. Now that it's fully disassembled, you can take this little screw out here. Sometimes it gets stuck. We have an original hard drive. Well, it does say May 14. This might have been a fresh replacement from Apple. We do have an aftermarket battery here, Ego Way. We have upgraded RAM. If you shake the hard drive and you hear something ticking, that means that it has gone completely bad. So I took out the hard drive and plugged it into my iMac here and it looks like it's reading fine. You can see it's spinning, it's detecting 500 gigabytes of hard drive. So what I'm presuming what's going on is that the hard drive is working fine. It's the actual wire right here, which are very common to go bad. This say the hard drive wire, I think that's really it. Luckily I have a donor MacBook here with, well actually this looks like it's kind of crumpled. What I'm planning on doing is using this display, swapping it out there so we have a completely viable working display and put this macOS Sierra boot drive here. If this does work, that means that everything is working as it should. Yep, we're game on. So we have officially booted up on Sierra using the internal hard drive. So that means that we're good to go on that one. What we need to do now is just replace the display assembly. Now off topic, I always recommend you guys getting a prying tool, especially like this from iFixit, which is a high quality one. Now what I have here is a donor computer and this is a 2009 specifically. We have officially taken off the donor screen. Now now it's time to put it back. 
I just realized a 2009 display has a complete different antenna system from a 2011. I am missing a little plug right here. So the only way for me to find out if everything is working is through starting it up. There you go, look at that. This is my first time trying to test this display out. I'm trying to see if I could join my Wi-Fi here. Really a way to tell if our wireless system is working or not. Yes, it does. Now let's go ahead and go to Bluetooth. Oh, it does. Look at that. I don't even know whose 4K smart TV that is. What about the camera? Let's see if the camera works. There is no camera. On that terrible bombshell of a disaster, we can't use our camera, we can't use our auto brightness, and that's a pretty big deal breaker. I have decided, because this chassis is already pretty beat up and it just doesn't look very good, even with the donor display, the donor display doesn't really have the best condition. What I've decided is to just use a donor MacBook. What this is, is another 2011. However, this is in a much better condition as you can see here and the only reason why this is a donor computer the ram slot when i try to put a ram on the top slot you can't really close it as you can see there it's finally clean and man that was quite dusty that is one dirty pacing the thermal paste i'm using is mx4 now that's good to go. We have the new MacBook here. Connect the camera, which hopefully works this time. And finally, last but not the least, the battery. This is the final product of this project. This video took quite a bit of more time than I thought it would be. And that is mainly because we had to swap everything into a whole new MacBook shell. If that screen wasn't busted at all for that first one, it would have been completely usable. But because I already have this donor MacBook shell, it's better anyways because we could finally properly charge. The donor body itself isn't in the best condition. So let's double check if it's reading the hard drive. And it is. Look at that. We have officially booted up to Big Sur using Open Core Patcher. But for some reason, it says service battery recommended. This battery only has about 60 cycles. I don't know if it's either because it's aftermarket or it's a bug on Big Sur. Let's go ahead and check if the display auto brightness works. Yes, it does. Look at that. Do you see that? I'm actually very curious to try this out, the CD that came with the MacBook itself. Oh, uh oh. Guys, it is stuck. Oh great, it, it just completely just got inside. That was pretty bad and sad because I really thought this computer was fully fixed, but I guess there's always something, right? Let's go to YouTube. And to be honest with you, anything 2011 later computer MacBooks right now is perfectly working. It won't be the fastest thing in the world, but it also isn't really slow like the Core 2 Duos. The i5 with the hyper-threading really makes a big difference with these computers. And the fact that you could expand this to an SSD and the fact that this is running a SATA hard drive, I believe this might be a 5400 RPM even and it's running pretty decent. And the best part about this model is that SATA cable is good for six gigabytes per second. So you could really get the best and the greatest SSDs unlike anything before. And to top things off, you could also remove that horrible, horrible prone to to fail CD-ROM and replace it with another SSD to do a RAID 0. Ideally, I would recommend getting a 2012 model year because the graphics on that one is way better than this one, which has the HD 3000 graphics. Even so, this one is still working and it works great in a lot of scenarios. Like it's very loud. Use in the NBA. If we put this to 1080p, it plays perfectly fine. Like all I if I have any recommendations for MacBooks in this era, I would definitely recommend a 13-inch 2011 or a 2012 model year for unibodies because they're very identical except for the graphics. Obviously, you can see right now this is running a hard drive and the fact that this is running perfectly. To top things off, this was 20 bucks. We could browse the internet as much as we like to. We can even download a lot of the applications that are recent in the App Store. You could essentially download a lot of the applications here that you once can't because you're limited to High Sierra. I just realized my calendar is not right. Date and time, we should be able to change the format of the date. Afghanistan. Well, we're in America, but <laughs> United States. And yeah, we're back to February. New and hot. 
I almost forgot we could go ahead and test out the camera and see if it works because the last time the camera was not working and I'm hoping this one works. This hard drive is giving me some anticipation but it does work. Okay, great. This computer for however how much this was I got it for, I'm very much satisfied. We had a long, long day. And even after this video, I'm technically not done. I have to replace that CD-ROM. We had a working computer at the end of the day, and that's one e-waste down the road. What I love doing is collecting these MacBooks, but also to give them a second chance at life. Although this is not perfect and far from perfect condition-wise, I mean, you see a lot of dents here and scratches there. I mean, it is over a decade old. An M1 chip would still cost you around $600 of use. Think about this, if you can get this for 20 bucks, 40 bucks, plus maybe another like 30 for the upgrades, you're pretty much set. I think this video really is a good example of making things last longer than they are supposed to be. The previous owner of this computer thought it was the end of it, when in reality it was a simple $2 cable that I had laying around. And although the display did not end up well when I got it from the seller because the seller didn't really take care of the packaging very, very well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos more to come. See you guys later.